In this video, we're going to talk about data integrity, and it's quite a big issue, so this is going to be a longer than usual video. There are three camps within data integrity. One is confidentiality. Is it the right person who has access to the data? Does the data have integrity, and what do we mean by it having integrity? And also availability. So let's start with confidentiality. So we might want something restricted from only one person can see it, which we might achieve using a password or a username and password through to anybody can see it. So we might have all of these different levels of access, which is a consideration when we're talking about confidentiality. We might in some systems actually restrict people by user type. So we might say that people with a student user type can access this information, whereas the teacher user type can access um, this and this information and you might even have different levels within that and there's an example of the textbook about the levels that the military use One of the ways that you might authenticate access to things as I said was with the username and password and the Australian government also um, supplies the protective security policy framework uh, which talks about all of the things that you should do uh, to maintain the confidentiality and that's quite a list which I'm not going to go through here but that sort of deter detect all sorts of stuff like that and that's well worth having a good look at and finally when we're talking about confidentiality we're talking about layering of zones uh, and that's something that we can do in the physical environment you think about having sort of the whole school that anybody can well actually not anybody can walk into and then the security steps up in different areas and you would have that in data centers and just in most businesses and organizations in general and likewise you can have the virtual equivalent of those you can say well anybody can get from this to this uh, and the other thing that I think is worth keeping in mind is, and I can't remember the proper name for this, but it's the notion that somebody who has a higher level of access can read at their level and write at their level, but they can't write at a lower level so that they don't accidentally copy down confidential information. That all falls under the heading of confidentiality. Now, let's have a look at integrity. At its simplest form, integrity just means that the data is true and correct. But we need to understand it in a more sophisticated way than that. So we need to understand that it is accurate so that it doesn't list me, list me as 53 instead of 52, that it is actually accurate information and it is correct. So that, um, you know, the distance from here to there is exactly what it says in the database. Uh, we also need to make sure that it's consistent, that it's not, you know, years here and months here and partial addresses here and full addresses there that when we say the information is true and correct, we are looking for a consistency of format. And that's also important for us when we're storing things in variables because often the um, consistency means we know what to do our validations on. Then there is, of course, the authenticity. Now, what authenticity means is that only a trusted person or organisation provided the information and only a trusted person or organisation could update that information. So that comes back to this issue of confidentiality, that we know that only, you know, if it says that this is your billing address, that that definitely came from a trusted party. We just we can't say, oh, I don't know where that information came from or who can edit it. Uh, there is the test of is it reasonable? Uh, this is something else you can use in validations. So if you're getting somebody to fill out your form and give their age, then you can probably say that reasonably, I think people, the oldest person's about 120, you'd want to check this. Um, or, you know, if you're putting in populations or scores. You know, if I'm building up a database of how people went in the practice exam, I want to make sure that I can't put in a 10 out of 5 score. That would be unreasonable. Uh, relevance, that I'm only collecting information and uh, keeping information that's actually to do with the task. Now that's particularly important because some of the privacy legislation says as much, that you can only keep information that's actually related to the business that you're doing with that person. And being timely. Now in the exam, or the practice exam I should say, I talked about um, something being timely. So if a teacher were to only update their list of students at the end of every term, there's a fairly good chance that that's not timely because somebody would have come into that class or gone out of that class, or at least that's a reasonable possibility. Other things that can impact on integrity. One is just accident. You know, people can accidentally delete, delete stuff. Uh, there can be mistakes, human error. Then it can also be events. You know, uh, flood, fire and so forth can destroy information and or either partially or completely and that can impact on integrity, particularly in terms of it being complete and timely. Uh, and of course deliberate threats, and this is where I've got a crossover with security as a topic, 
but you can have people who deliberately sabotage your data, either to make it inaccessible, uh, such as ransomware attacks, um, unavailable, such as um, denial of service attacks, or just plain old corrupting them. Which leads us on to our final uh, camp of um, data integrity, which is availability. If you are storing information, then that information needs to be available to the right people when they want or need it. And that's what a denial of service attack does. It basically says, well, you, we're going to keep, we're going to stop you getting to the information in that system because you're just not going to be able to get into it through all this other traffic. So they're your three key concepts when it comes to data integrity. It's got to be confidential or at the right level of confidentiality. It's got to have integrity and it's got to be available.